Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to discuss buffer in Node.js. So make sure that you have Node.js installed and open your text editor. Save one file with name sample.js. Okay. You can also use REPL to execute your code. Simply type in node and you will have REPL access. Okay. You can use dot exit to exit from it. Now inside your sample.js type in var buffer equals to new buffer. So here we set let's say size of 10 for buffer and we can type in console.log for that buffer's value. Let's find out what output we get and here you'll find some random text with buffer size up to 10 3 3 6 3 9 and 10 okay so the next thing is we will see how to pass on arguments to your buffer so for that simply change your buffer constructor to get arguments so in square brackets type in 1 2 3 4 and 5 Okay, now open command prompt and execute the code again. You will get the argument passed to the buffer. Okay, similarly you can also pass string. Simply remove this and have strings such as node.js. Now if you execute the code, it will Put some random data instead of showing that string okay so for that to show properly you have to pass encoding as well before that let's take a look at some encoding so type in console.log then buffer dot each encoding and we will check if it has utf8 okay now open command prompt and execute the code and it will say true now what if you want to check encoding as ascii in that case simply execute the code again and it will pass as true now how about x so hex will also give you true but what if you don't pass anything in such case it should return false Okay, so this is how you can check whether the encoding for your buffer is supported or not. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to write one string here. So type in var string one and create new buffer. And here we will give length of up to 15. And we will write to that string with let's say node.js and encoding as utf8 okay so if you execute this on repl then you will get size of your current string however if you execute with uh, directly as node and then your sample js file then you have to use console.log to print the content of your string Okay. and here you'll find it will print uh, print you the message with some random text okay now what if you want to convert your content of string in such case you use string dot to string so simply type in str1 dot to string and for this method you pass on utf8 so it should show you the content of your current string okay so let's just remove this and let me make it interesting and we'll get node.js tutorial as content of your string okay Similarly, you can also specify which part of a string you want to display. 
from 0 to let's say 7 so you can print that out so just node.js if you go for let's say up to 15 then it will print out entire node.js tutorial add string okay so <clears throat> this was our short video on how to use buffers in node.js